Hi, my name is Steven Lurson and I'm about to start a brand new video. I'm going to do an abstract night scene as a background with a little bit of a landscape and some little, some uh, small figures. The key is to keep moving forward. Don't go back unless it's just to cover a little bit of the white of the canvas showing through. If you start doing a lot of the dry brush technique, which is where your brush shows streaky, but you can see the white of the canvas, that's telling you your brush is too dry and or you're using too little paint. So I'm going to use more paint and more water. And if it runs, so be it. There's a big benefit to painting in thin glazes. One is that you maintain a light canvas, canvas with light in it, so they're not really dark and heavy. One benefit is that um, you get to paint more layers upon layers and thereby creating a much more interesting surface with marks hidden behind marks that you can see through the layers. This step is going to be splattering. Uh, multiple brush types and multiple brush sizes will do. All you're trying to do is use a tool like a brush to sop up some wet fluid paint and then sling it down here. Now the reason that I splattered between the layers is because those will no longer be white once I paint a glaze of color over them. They will be, for instance, if I paint teal over it, those will be teal splatters. If I paint green, if they'll, they'll basically become the color that's painted over them. And then later, whenever I go back to more splatters, it'll have an immense amount of depth because you'll have both the bright white splatters and tons of background splatters that are much further in the distance because they are not white. Making this very, very loose and whimsical. I'm not protecting anything. And that type of energy should be fun.